Okay, what we've got here is an open air colony. I'll try to zoom in on it for you. And from this angle, I can't really see much. Let's see if we can see the bees from over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a little better. They're really cold today. I don't really want to tear that hive apart if I can help it. I'm going to try and clip the hive and bring it down inside of a box if I can. I don't really want to break them apart. I might even drop the vast majority of it into a bucket. Um, it's pretty high, so I don't know if I can get away with just a ladder. I'm going to shut this off for just a moment, conserve this, and uh, see if I can't get uh, just a ladder up there. If it's too short, then I'll have to pull the truck up underneath and put the ladder in the truck. Here we go. There we go again. Let you see this uh, ladder set up. Nice, huh? Sit down to the back of my truck. Up to the limb. Does it look high? It is. It just looks like fun, doesn't it? Okay. We'll back it off about right there. Let's see if we can see what happens. And if this thing will hold still. There we go. Well, let's see how this goes. I think I will take the time to put a strap or two on the ladder. Carry one up with me and strap it to the tree. <clears throat> and I'll strap one at the bottom. Make sure it doesn't scoot on me. Not that it should, but I've always been a big safety knot. trim out what we can and get it out of the way. And I think I might tie a rope to the limb. Cut it. my loppers now. That hive looks like it's bone dry. Well, it's got some queen cells too. I don't know if you can see them or not. Right there. There. This one's chewed out the side. This one's going open on the, on the top. That one's open on the top. And so is this one. So they recently sent some swarms out in the area. It's too cold to be tearing that comb apart. I don't want to kill any brood that might be in it. Weather changed. It is not what it said it would be. Of course, you know, we can always count on the weather. So, I'm going to, uh, Now the 
are starting to get my bail. to uh, tie a line on here. No, I've never done it like this before. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm trying to get them midday. Normally I would wait until afternoon. And originally this job was set up for the afternoon so that I could be here until evening. But my first job <clears throat> was a hive that uh, somebody poisoned. So the job went very quick. It was a huge hive, mostly dead. Um, I was able to save enough bees out of it to start a box for the gentleman. His brother uh, used to be a beekeeper of sorts, if you will, as a hobby. So he brought a box, an eight-frame laying straw, and I went ahead and set the bees in it for him. Caught the queen, had a nice Caucasian queen in it. Nice bees. Just shame they got poisoned out like they did. It, it initially was a huge hive. It was underneath the gentleman's shed. I had to cut the floor to get to it. But what? Did they have honey in there? Uh, they did, but I, I, it's all in a bag in the back of my truck. It's all tainted because it's been poisoned. I, I wouldn't touch it myself. Well, that's the problem. You know, they poison this stuff, and then they leave it behind for everything else to dine on. So, even if, I mean, even if you hate rats, do you really want them dead inside your house or in a crawl space or something? I mean, the only way to get rid of bees is to remove the comb. You have to remove the comb. So, poisoning them doesn't make any sense when you can open it up, get the bees, start a hive, use the honey for yourself. Honey is, what, $60 a gallon? Yeah, I'll try to get this hive complete in the box. And then when I get them home on a warmer day, then I'll open the box up and try to try to set them up a little better.
Okay. Lowered it into the box. Now we'll bring the box down where we can work with it on the tailgate. Maybe give you all a better view of what's going on here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a cold day. Not a good day for doing bees. Well, I guess in a way it is. They ain't moving a lot. The ones that's moving is the ones that's mad. Um, there we go. There's the hive. I'm going to cut that log out of it and leave it intact if I can. much of it. There we go. Sorry it's an awkward angle, but that's what I got to work with too. So let's get a knife, open that up. Ah, uh, fairly safe, but it, you're on your own if you come in. <laughs> Probably all good then. Well, I understand that, but when a job falls through, my first hive was a poisoned hive. So instead of it taking time to to go through the hive, it, there really wasn't much to go through. Um, they had uh, they had a young workman there, and he got into the hive and poisoned it. And, uh, you know, some folks don't know. Isn't that illegal to do? Well, yeah, it is, but, you know, some folks don't know. I mean, yeah. as I understand people make mistakes. What am I going to do? Yeah. You know. Do they have any honey in there or what? This one, no, this is bone dry. Oh. It doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it has any weight to it at all. Well, they've cast several several queens. They've got queen cells all over it. So, even though they've been here, they ain't been too happy. Now, either with the queen or just with the, you know, the location, period. Because they keep throwing queens out. Okay, now... Well, I'm going to put them in a box right now. I don't want to break the hive completely open because if there's any brood in there, and I think there is, I don't want to kill that brood. I'd rather kill a, a couple of bees trying to save the whole hive, you know? I don't have to take it all apart, but you can see how, how dry a lot of this is. Just, it's just papery. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen. I don't know any other way to get them into this hive without cutting the main pieces loose. And the, a lot of it is gonna stay together no matter what, because they have twigs drawn in between all these. So it's, I couldn't crush the hive if I wanted to. That. I'm just concerned about getting this main piece of log off of it so that I can drop it in here and let them uh, just stay in the box until I can get a warmer day to pull the hive out. Well, 
That's what I was kind of hoping. Oh yeah, there's going to be some. You're going to get that and you're going to get robber bees too. You get bees coming in smelling the crushed hive. And along with that, you know, they're going to smell some all the pheromones and everything else. So Oh yeah, yeah, I've run into them. Oh yeah. They come in on the ports. I'm sorry? Yes. Yes, they are. And more. Never, never underestimate a hive. Any hive can be a hive like that, and you won't know it until you get into it. This is a slightly aggressive hive, but it's so cold that they're having a hard time. So, luck's running with me right now. This has got so many twigs and stuff in it. None of this comb will be usable. So what I'll do is I'll get them back to the house. I'll probably put another box on top of this one with comb in it and put a feeder on it and let them draw a new comb and then get rid of this. But they've got all their food stores in it. So I hate to... to destroy the whole thing. This late in the year. Here it is December. Last thing I want to do is put these bees in a bad situation. They're already going to be in a rough situation because where I, I live above the frost line, they're used to being below it. So I did the job. The guy told me it wasn't poisoned. Of course, he didn't know that the kid come along and done that. But then, you don't get the bees, you don't get any honey, you don't get anything. Just another free job. And that's you know a lot of these. That's a, that's what a lot of it is. You. You get there and everybody says they haven't done it, but they have. You know, somebody's always coming along and said, I'll get rid of them for you. There's always somebody. And uh, that somebody always seems to uh, poison them. And the varieties of poison, oh my God. Some of the stuff they use. Oh yeah. I am looking for that queen. I want to make sure she's not on here when I shake this. I don't want to shake a queen down. that, my friend, see how they're, how they're nazzing offing right there? They're calling this home, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now I'll just trim this off. Oh yeah, it always amazes me.
lot of water in this in this hive. Okay. And there we go. I'll put a strap around it, and that'll be that. We'll get to them on a better day for them. Now I just want to make sure I look for any clusters before I go. Like see that cluster right there? There's the finished removal. Oh, I don't have to, but I got a YouTube channel. And uh, I do like to record them. Um, wish I was better at it. Um, But it's always, always a learning experience. And the owner couldn't be here today, so here's a small group of bees up on the limb. There we go. I'll go up and make sure there's not a queen there. Now is go ahead and spray that down. Keep going Job done. There it is. Driveway fairly clean. Got all the big branches out, put glued them out to the edge of his yard. Where uh, Mr. Felix asked me to move them. And that's it. There we go.